Building an app used to mean months of coding, tens of thousands of dollars, and endless late nights. You'd need a designer for the UI, a front-end dev for the screens, a back-end engineer for the database, and then weeks of testing before you even had a working prototype. But after May 2025, you could do it in under 90 seconds without writing a single line of code? The thing that helps you do that is called Google Stitch, which some people might underestimate, but can be a game changer. With its upgrade to Gemini 2.5 Pro, Stitch can now generate fully working designs, complete with real screens, buttons, and clean HTML slash CSS. In this video, we are going to break down what Stitch can do, show you live examples, and the results immediately on this video, and explaining why this free tool might shake up the developer's situation. Let's get started. Okay, so this is how Stitch looks like when you first enter the website. However, some cases might appear when this screen says, Stitch is not available for you to use. It is because this feature is only available in some regions like North America and Europe. So, you might need to use VPN to access to it from other areas. And of course, this feature is currently in beta, as you can see here. So this AI will be able to be used worldwide in the future. And here we are skimming through the layout of the website. The middle of it is the prompt box as usual. Above of it is the model of the AI we will use. At the first part of the video, I will use experimental mode as Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then later I will demonstrate with the other one. On the left of the box is the UI ratio I will generate. The two options are for mobile and PC. And at the right is the image input part, which will be used as a reference for the result later. This one is optional. And at the left-hand menu, you will see a list of examples that the AI has provided for you to use as references. Click on it, you will be led to a fully complete project of website or an application. The results are on the right of you, featuring four variants of outcome based from a single prompt on the right side of the screen. Oh, you could expand or minimize the size of them to see it more visually. Next, talking about the prompt and the process to make these, Take a look at the right, and you could see the whole process to create these UIs. Very accurate and easy to use, right? I will take a look at some other results to see how other websites should look like. I will speed up the process for you. All right, head to the main point. Open the prompt box and enter the prompt of the website that you're going to make. For example, I will let the AI to render out a website on PC. The purpose of it would be used as a dictionary for all the AI tools around the world right now. The appearance and UI should be easy to access for all type of users, and it will come up with the latest updates and patches for each AI on the screen. That's all I need to do, then click Generate to let Stitch do the rest. The process might take about one minute or longer based on the prompt. Take your time and wait for the product. Okay, the demo website is here. Pretty cool, huh? It will generate a single page of the website you want. You could make another one if you want later. All right, look at it a little bit. The design is eye-catching, yet simple to witness and understand how the website should work. I will expand it a little bit to make it more easily to see. It also came up with a suggestion for a better a product after the generation is done. You might need to consider it. Okay, the base design is done, but I want to add more details to it. So, I need to enter some changes on the prompt box at the bottom left corner. I want to add a trial button on the left-hand menu so that users can experience more of the AI. And click Generate. Wait for the result again. All right, the change has been added, as you could see right here. Pretty cool, right? The trial button is now on the left of the screen as I expected. I think that's all we need to know about how to enter the prompt and design it. Next, let's head a little bit of the coding of the website. Click the full screen button on top of the page you want. A full page of it will appear on your screen. Then, 
click the Code button next to it. It will show to you a full HTML script of the own page like this, which you can adjust and fix it freely as long as you want. That is one of the biggest updates that Stitch has brought to us recently. However, I am currently working with the Gemini Pro model, so I cannot import it into Figma or change the design of the demo instantly. But vice versa, the Flash model doesn't let you to make the changes easily, like the experimental mode with the prompt. So that's the main difference of the experimental and standard one. Now, I will download it to my device to see how it should look like as a website. Click Download at the top of the page. Then go to File Explorer, extract it, and go deeper to the elements of it. Let's see the picture first. Nothing special. But when it comes to website, its function works properly. From each button and the mouse will change depends on each place it is put. Everything works well as a normal website. Pretty cool, huh? That's all the things we need to explore on the experimental one. Now, let's switch to the standard mode, which uses the Gemini 2.5 Flash model. A faster and easier one, but yes, it will be different a little bit we interacted with previously. I will enter the same prompt and see how it will go. Let's wait for the outcome again. All right, the result is awaiting. Let's see here. It will come up with a complete pages for each section. But yeah, you could see it clearly that it is not as beautiful as the one we made with the Pro model, in exchange with the speed to make is much faster compared to the other. However, as I said, you can directly change the theme of the website on the demo like this when you click on the color palette button. And just change it to any theme you want easily like this, like a flash as its name. One more thing, you could also import the model into Figma to make more detailed changes on it by hit the Figma button. Then, go to Figma and press Ctrl and V buttons to paste it into the working panel like this. Now, do anything you want on this website. Such a brilliant way to work. In conclusion, you could choose the more suitable model for you after experiencing them normally. For me, I prefer the Pro model more, but for you, Guy, you have the right to choose the best one for yourself. So, give it a try and make the widest decision. Honestly, if you showed this to your past self in 2015, they'd call you a time traveler. The future of design is moving fast, and tools like Google Stitch are giving regular people superpowers. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe for me to stay updated with the latest videos on my channel. I appreciate them a lot. See you next time.